What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back in the video on the channel, and today I had a craving for specifically this sandwich, but I wanted to try this pizza too. If you're unfamiliar with this place, it's one of the first places I've ever probably reviewed as a content creator, not just YouTube, but I'm talking Instagram and way back towards those days. I went to a place called Pizza Mania. It's located in Garfield, New Jersey. This place is one of the most efficient, reliable places I've ever ordered from. This is not an ad. This is just me being real. I'm going to show you this picture just to show you that I'm not lying. I ordered this pizza at 7.45 p.m. It got here in 23 minutes, this entire order. And I know they fill out a ton of orders because I've been to this place personally and they have delivery drivers coming in and out of this place. I've never had an issue with accuracy of the order, the quality of the food, or anything. It's just super, super efficient. So um, if you wanna check them out, uh, th this is their card and stuff like that. Again, this is not an ad. This is just a place that I've been to. I've filmed that, literally, I've been there a billion times. Anyway, yesterday I was with a couple of friends and I didn't eat, but I watch people eat all the time. Because I'm a food content creator, a lot of times people are eating right in front of me, which doesn't bother me. You know, people get pizza and stuff around me. And he got this sandwich. I'm like, yo, what the hell sandwich is that? And he said, yo, you never had the sandwich with Benny's Special? It was a Benny Special. So he explained to me what's in it. So I got one. And I want to try it. I didn't try it yesterday, but it looked crazy, so I had to try it. But I also got a pizza, half and half, a specialty. One pizza I've never tried before. One I'm a big fan of. So let me just bust this out again. I haven't looked in here yet, as always. And you can never see around these boxes. Look at this. Bro. You do have the option of getting half and half on any pizza you order. They have a ton of specialty pizzas. And... Just, I'll show you. This is all their specialty pizzas. As you can see, there are quite a lot of them. And I've had a lot of them, which I do enjoy. This one on the left is a chicken pesto pizza. So it has pesto sauce as well as, and what looks like mozzarella, it said it had ricotta cheese. Maybe it's under there. I'm not 100% sure, but I've never had this. This on this side is a Vegas pizza. Now listen to what's on this pizza. Potatoes, Alfredo sauce, bacon, and cheddar cheese on a pizza. I've had it before. It's delicious, not gonna lie. So that is what this is. We got a large, and this is what I wanted. This is the Benny's Special. I did make one change to it that isn't on the menu, just because I felt like it would make the sandwich a little bit better. But look at the size of this monster. $12, yes, $12 gets you this. <laughs> and that's what I'm telling y'all, man. The food around here is just insane. You can see that this thing is so fat that it fell apart. But it is grilled chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, as well as basil and mozzarella. Now, the one thing I did make a change to, they had a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on it, which is fine. But I felt like the sandwich might have been too dry unless they added a ton, which they usually don't. So I did add a little bit of mayo, light mayo to this as well, just to make sure that the, the sandwich wouldn't like be too dry. Just a personal preference. You don't have to get it that way, but I wanted to try it that way. So that is what's on the lineup. Also, I always get this because I'm a big fan of it. This is Broccoli Rob for people who aren't unfamiliar for it. It's a kind of bitter like kale or spinach type of thing which you saute in olive oil. You can see there's a ton of garlic in there. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this in the sandwich. I used to do this all the time. This is hot as hell. I used to do this all the time, so I wanted to do it again. I get a side order of it. I think it's like seven or eight dollars, but they give you a ton of it. Also, for people who are like health food conscious or, or like you like meal prepping, their grilled chicken is nuts. I used to get that all the time. It's just grilled chicken, but it's seasoned so well and it's always super juicy. Just a little uh, pro tip for people who are into that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's try this sandwich first. I'm holding it on the bottom because it's so like filled with chicken and stuff that I feel like the bread is going to fall apart in a second. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so I'm holding it like a baby, but... I explained what is in it. I just got to try this thing. How do they make their grilled chicken so juicy? That is not thighs either. Oh, man. And the basil? Tell you what, they said this thing was good. It is very good. Hard to actually eat though. Look at this grilled chicken. Wow. I need a napkin. There is something about these fresh subs that you get from these pizza places around here. The chicken is on point. Nice little depth of flavor on there. The basil adds like a little note that you wouldn't really get from a sandwich. Usually sandwiches don't have basil on them. Adding the tomato on there for a little bit of that acid. I do get the flavor of the olive oil and I do feel like the mayonnaise did add something else to it that made the sandwich like it probably would have been dry without it. 
personally, but mm. for twelve dollars for this, mm. right? Wow. Usually, I prefer breaded chicken over grilled chicken. But their grilled chicken is so juicy and like the flavor on it that I think it works better than the breaded chicken, to be honest. That's adding to the rotation right there. I'm like, one more bite. Whoa. My thing is a mess, but damn, is it good. I really don't even think it needs the broccoli rub. I'm still gonna try it with the broccoli rub. I'm gonna add a little of this broccoli rub. I would stuff it in here and open it up, but I feel like the sandwich is so full that it might just fall apart. Can confirm. Oh, that took it up another notch. That might be a personal thing. If you've never had broccoli rub, do not get it on the sandwich. Get it on the side if you want to try it. Because there are some people that really don't like it. It has like a bitter kind of taste to it. But it's so garlicky. I ain't kissing nobody for a while. Oh. I got more of that. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That is crazy. Give me that. Oh, that's diffy. Anytime you get something that's like savory, add a little of that to it. I might have to have a sandwich showdown because I don't know if that's not my favorite sub that I've ever had from a pizza place. There are two other contenders I can think of, one of which is my favorite forever. But this is making me think twice about it. This is hard to put down how good it is. You can see I ate one whole half of it already. Wow. That's right up there with the goats. I don't even know what to do myself. I, and the three tens? Yep. That's it. I gotta give it to it because the other one I gave a ten to, it's a ten. I can't think of anything I would change about that. Ooh. Sometimes you're like, why don't you just give it a ten? There you go. Y'all win because I can't not give that a ten. Whoa. Let me get a drink real quick. Gallon. Crystal light. Always. I always keep like several of those in the fridge, so I got cold ones that I can get to. But I want to try this. Like I said, this is a pesto pizza I'm trying on this side. So this half, chicken pesto. It's got chicken cutlet. It's got basil pesto. It's got tomatoes and what looks like mozzarella. It said it had ricotta cheese, like I said before, but it looks like mozzarella to me. If there's ricotta cheese on here, it's going to be more of a W. But look at the size of these slices, too. Look at this. A lot of people like getting the plain pizza. I like the busy slices like this. It's just a personal thing. Oh, let's give this one a bite. Yeah, hear that. Acid from the tomatoes mixed with that pesto. I was scared that this chicken cutlet was going to be dry. It's not. And that's mainly because I got this fresh. Word to the wise for people who do get pizza. When you go in, I'm talking New York, New Jersey style, where you walk in and you can get a specialty slice. The ones that have been sitting out all day, when you reheat them, the chicken cutlet, it don't hit the same. It's going to dry out. Just, just a suggestion. If you're going to get a reheated slice, Stick to more of the things that are a little more oily. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what's going to work more. Sausage, pepperoni, things of that nature. Or even like a veggie slice. The pesto on that is really good. Only gripe 
called a pesto slice. There's not a lot of it on there. I know pesto goes a long way, but I would have liked a little more. Let me get this chicken cutlet right here. A little breaded piece. Just for y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not dry at all. Nice. Other gripe. Said it had regolta on it. There is no regolta on it. I would have liked regolta on it. I said regolta seven times, as you can tell. But it's still a very good slice. That keeps it from being like truly, truly elite. That would have took it to the next level. But I wouldn't be mad if you put this in front of me at any point in time. And I can't get my hand around this. And I don't have small hands. There we go. Mm. But everything here is super moist. And the pro tip was adding a little acid from that tomato. That kind of broke up the pesto. Ooh. That's one of those. Two slices of that, you'll be full for three days. Very good, very filling. I like that a lot. Only things we're missing, I already said, so I won't really beat a dead horse. Let me get a bite of this crust, though. Just because the crust looks on point. Hmm? Same idea. A little bit of a tough chew on that one. I'm talking from a perfect scale, not from a good slice of pizza scale. So, calma, calma, you feel me? But still, flavor on that is really, really on point. You could have brought it like, you know, up into the high nines, but instead, 8.9, still amazing. I just have to say this out loud. There's nothing that hits quite diffy than when you have a craving for something and you satisfy that craving. And this is doing that right now. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. This pizza is a strange one for people who've never had it. I'm guessing there's a lot of you, but a lot of people get Alfredo sauce on the franchise pizzas, right? But have you ever gotten it from a real pizza place? This is the one. Alfredo sauce instead of the tomato or marinara. Potatoes with bacon and cheddar. Kind of like a baked potato soup. And I tried this once at a suggestion. So I'm going to try it again. And we're going to see. Is this like I remember? That tastes like baked potato soup almost. A little more garlic because of the Alfredo. Oh, that is. Saltiness of the bacon. Very rich. Potatoes on a pizza. Who'd have thought? That Alfredo is creamy as hell and delicious. I haven't had this in a while. Seriously. It tastes like baked potato soup almost. Mmm. I'm gonna start a petition to use broccoli rob as a condiment. It just wakes things up. Again, this is a personal thing, but boy. I'm picking potatoes up off of my box. Oh my goodness, that's crazy good. This pizza is filling too, like, you definitely feel like you got your money's worth. Two slices, I'm done. Mmm. Not to mention a half of a giant sandwich, but... This one... I think is more of a specialist kind of pizza. People who are asking for a traditional pizza, I don't know if you'll really rock with this one like I do. I really like... weird pizza. And I say weird in a sense of it's not traditional that is as non-traditional as it gets but it really in my opinion works the richness of that alfredo just combined with that bacon there's a little bit of onion in here as well that gives it kind of like a bit of a sweetness to it and the crust on this for some reason it works better than the pesto one which is really doesn't make sense that's good man i want to oh, no don't do it don't do it don't do it you'll be crying at later don't do it i don't touch the pizza 
you don't understand. This is what I go through when I be eating. But I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm on a weird pizza, this is right there with the ones I want to get. <sighs> you have no idea how badly I want to bite that. But I'm not going to. Can't eat that much Alfredo. This is really filling. Word to the wise. Anybody wants to get this, it's filling. It's rich. So be careful. But this, for me, <laughs> this is for me. I don't know if everybody will rock with this one like I do. But it's a 9-5. I swear to you. I had this pizza a couple of years ago. And I don't know why it took me so long to get it back. I just remember it being so good. Pizza Mania, man. Y'all do things just different. The service, 23 minutes this pizza took with the sandwich and the broccoli rub. And it's fresh, it's warm. Like, you don't see that very often. Every time I get stuff from this place, I always have to shout that out. Because in this area, to do those kind of numbers with that kind of traffic and still have food that's not messed up, order is always accurate. There's always the right amount of like the, 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 the forks and stuff. Like, it's just the little details and it's always like that with this place, which is why they do so much business. It's reliable and the food is excellent. I'm just being real. <laughs> so if you wanna try that Benny special, I feel like this is a little bit more of a specialist thing. If you're not used to this kind of food, like real deal pizzeria, um, you might be with the broccoli rob specifically. You might be a little put off by that. Chicken pesto on a pizza, Alfredo on a pizza. Most people are not used to that, but I would suggest that you try some of this stuff because it was a couple of years ago and I finally did and it's so good. The, the, the craving is just satisfied right now. You can see it's so rich, man. I want to stop touching the pizza. Stop. I'm looking off to no one. Yes, I am. But overall, still one of the best pizza places around. That sandwich, I'm going to have to do a showdown with. I don't really like pitting small businesses against each other, but... I got to take my top three sandwiches in an area and we might have to do something with that. So let me know if you want to see that. Again, I don't like putting small businesses. I don't want to make that a series, but this is more for a personal standpoint. I got to know. I got to know if I put these next to each other, are they really going to rock like that? Um, and I'm going to add the broccoli rob to that one just to soup it up. Again, this doesn't come with mayo. It doesn't come with broccoli rob. That's my own thing. I saw this. I had to tad it for my craving and it's 100% satisfied. Pete's made me one of the best around in my opinion, but that's going to be the end of the video because I swear to you, I want to eat this pizza so bad and I'm not, I'm, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat this though. Two slices, the rest I give away. You can see. I don't want to go too crazy, but mm. y'all gotta try. Oh god! If I got some ricotta on this, I might have spontaneously combusted. You can see me trying not to eat it. Mm. That's gonna be the end of the video, man. I gotta take put this away. I gotta go do something with this because I'll eat it. I feel the temptation. But we'll be back though. I hope you enjoyed this. Tomorrow, more content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.